the Leon van Rensburg Cup will close the Cheltenham Festival and this is a four and a half miler and it's a long way around Cheltenham four and a half miles it's a long way anyway around four and a half miles isn't it anyway this will finish off the festival and Exeham Slave at the top for David Robertson Eyes of the World Leon van Rensburg National Nightmare Joshua Sutherland Spars Corner James Shea Anaheim Paul Rhodes Eric Over Days James Shea Bird on the Lawn Darren Thompson Cal Minth for John Morgan the Inquisitress Wink for Craig Allen J Lowe for John Morgan Sal's Beauty David Healy and Take the Long Road Joshua Sutherland one or two of these might be blowing their mark for next week's Grand National, but they're away and racing, but there aren't that many opportunities for four miles, so you can't really afford to turn it down if you've got something good enough to win it, because this is a Group 1, remember, and the Grand National's only a Group 3 next week, so Jano's in the lead, but I'm sure most people would rather win the National than this, but you've got to really go for it if you've got a top one anyway, because next week you can be pretty sure that only the top seven or eight will be in the handicap anyway, so it might even do you a favour to get a bit of a higher mark. They get over the first cent, and... They're all safely over it, with J Lo the clear leader from National Nightmare in second. Kalmina is third, or Kalmintha. Then comes Anaheim after that one with Sparse Corner and Arakova Days. They get down to the second, which is the water. I have to say, in these last couple of races, the fences are beginning to look a little bit shabby. It looks like Cheltenham could do with a spruce up. It's been a busy few days, and J Lo is in the lead. And J Lo's gone, and that's the that was one of the really fancied ones. And it's another one of those John Morgan horses that doesn't really jump very well. And whether that takes its chance next week, goodness only knows. As they take the fourth, John Morgan is very selective with where he runs his horses, and if the going isn't right, he won't run it no matter what. And J Lo has probably not done him any favours there because he's probably none the wiser as to how well it goes on certain conditions now after that. And he's still got Calminther as they take this ditch. And they're all safely over that one with National Nightmare the leader now. And clear by about four or five lengths. The loose horse is in second with Anaheim just behind that one. Then Sparse Corner and Calminther as they take the sixth of the 30 that they've got to take. And the back marker at this point is Bird on the Lawn who flagged up as a potential national horse in the trials earlier in the season. And he absolutely romped away with one of these four milers. Not done quite so well in the league proper, but that may well not be a bad thing come Grand National Day as they get over the seventh. If you've got a decent handicap mark, if you can get yourself in there where you're sort of like the bottom of the real weights, if you like, before the long handicap comes in, then you've got a really good chance next week. So National Nightmare is in the lead. We in Spars Corner second. And then Anaheim and Cal Minther, mostly three in a line, sharing second as they get over that one. The grey Exeham Slave wasn't exactly foot perfect. But National Nightmare is clear of Cal Minther, Spars Corner and Anaheim. They in turn are clear of Eyes of the World and Arakova Days. And then Inquisitress Wink. But National Nightmare it is in the lead. From Calvin to second, Anaheim third, Spars corner four. They take this one, that'll be the final fence next time around. And National Nightmare is clear. Nope, we'll switch to the other course up with this, will be the last one on the next time round. So we just lose them behind the screen for a second or two, but National Nightmare continues to lead, and the voice is starting to go. It's been a been an exciting week so far on the jumps and on the flat. Uh, National Nightmare is in the lead then from Sparse Corner second. Anaheim is third and Calvin to fourth. Bit of a gap then to Anacoba Days and Take the Long Road, then Eyes of the World and Exeham Slave in Cusitrous Wink is after that. And then Sal's Beauty and Bird on the Lawn is just the back marker. So Joshua Sutherland's National Nightmare then leads the field at the moment as they get down to the 11th. And oh, there's a faller there, and it's Cal Minther's gone, so both of John Morgan's have crashed out. And I know this is a race that he likes to win, he likes these four milers, he'll be absolutely gutted that they've both gone. And you watch them finish first and second in the National next week, as they take the water, and they're all safely over the water, of course, and National Nightmare continues to lead. Anaheim is two lengths down in second, Spars Corner is third, gap of three to the second, Joshua Sutherland Horse take the long road, then comes Inquisitress Wink as they get over the next, I'm guessing that 
Joshua Sutherland didn't think take the long road was going to be a national horse because he normally calls them national something. Or well, has national in there somewhere as they get over the 14th. And over that one they all go with Bird on the lawn still the back marker. And they've still got an awful long way to go. They've got another complete circuit to go when they finish this one yet. And National Nightmare is clear in front. From Anaheim in second. Spars Corner is third. And then take the long road in Quisitor's Wink as they get over that ditch. Which they all get over okay. Ectiham Slave the Grey is jumping a little better now from a mistake earlier on. Eyes of the World has just dropped to the back and has got eyes on all of the field now as they take number 16. And over 16 they go. And they're all safely over that one with National Nightmare in front. Spars Corner in second. Anaheim in third and take the long road in four. In Quisitor's Wink is in five. Then a gap to Arakova days. Ectiham Slave and Sal's Beauty. Bird on the lawn. And finally, Eyes of the World. As they take the 17th, which they're all safely over. National Nightmare continuing to lead. Past the midway point now, they've just got a little more than two miles still to go. And National Nightmare, Spars Corner, Anaheim take the long road. That's the one, two, three, four. And Chris just wink his back in fifth. The two fallers both from the John Morgan stable. And Eyes of the World is the back marker for the Gold Cup winning trainer Leon Van Rensburg. And National Nightmare is the leader. From Spars Corner second, Anaheim third and take the long road four. Then comes in could have just wink and arrow over days. With Ectiham Slave and Bird on my lawn, then Sal's Beauty and Eyes of the World, the back marker. National Nightmare than it is over it in front from Spars Corner and Anaheim then take the long road in because just wink Arakova Days Ectiham Slam the order has not changed a great deal as they take this one in front of the big screen and they go out on one more circuit then now that one will be the last next time they swing left handed for one last time the Cheltenham Festival for SO7 Season 3 as National Nightmare leads the field out onto that circuit from Spars Corner in second. Anaheim is third and take the long road is fourth. Inquisitor's Wink is next and then Arak over days and then Exi Amslave and then Sal's Beauty Bird of the Lawn and finally Eyes of the World who's getting a little bit detached two lengths away from the rest of them at the back. National Nightmare in front. Half a length up on Spars Corner. Anaheim over it in third. Inquisitor's Wink can take the long road. The order is staying pretty much as you were. Bird on the lawn is starting to creep a little bit closer from the back. It's still National Nightmare. Jockey just giving it a bit of a breather as they come down to the water. And over that one they all go. And they're all safely over the water as they always are. With Anaheim in second and Sparse Corner in third. Gap of three lengths. Then to take the long road and Inquisitors wink together. With a couple of lengths then to the grey empty ham slave on the outside of Arakova days as they take that ditch. And then Sal's Beauty bird on the lawn. And Eyes of the World just getting a little bit closer again now. At the back as they take that plain one. That's number 24. And over that one, the one that's making a bit of a forward move is Take the Long Road. But his stable companion, National Nightmare, continues to lead and leads by two. Two Spars Corner second, and Arm third. Take the Long Road four, and could just wink his five, then Ectiham Slave, and then Styles Beauty, Arakova Days, Bird on the Lawn, and Eyes of the World is the back marker as they get over the 25th. And they're all safely over that one then, with National Nightmare still the leader. Spars Corner second, take the Long Road third, and Arm fourth, and then comes in. Inquisitor's Wing, Ecti Ham Slave the Grey now coming through with a run on the outside. The first one to make a really significant move and round the outside. Also bursting through now, Inquisitor's Wink. So it's National Nightmare, Inquisitor's Wink, Ecti Ham Slave take the long road. Then Anaheim and Spark Corner, Bird on the lawn now getting into overdrive on the outside as well. The race is on in earnest as they race down towards the fourth for Mo. Over that one they go. Inquisitor's Wink landed in the lead. Mistake there was by Anaheim. That surely pulled that one out of it. Eyes of the world can't win. It's Inquisitor's Wink in the lead then by neck from Ecti Hamslave in second Bird on the lawn coming through in the third the Joshua Sutherland pair suddenly look one pace running on from the back is Sal's Beauty they race to the third last over it they go virtually three and a line Ecti Hamslave made a mistake and that's allowed Bird on the lawn to take it up and Bird on the lawn has suddenly gone too clear Bird on the lawn from Inquisitor's Wink and Ecti Hamslave Bird on the 
the lawn then, in the lead with three furlongs to go and two to jump, and it's Bird on the lawn, who's in the lead, getting across to the rail, Bird on the lawn leads by four, two inquisitors wink in second, Exiam Slave is in third, big gap back to take the long road and National Nightmare are trying to run on, but Bird on the lawn is six clear with two to jump, Bird on the lawn comes up to the second last, with a six length lead, gets over it nicely, better jump though, by Exiam Slave in second, inquisitors wink is still trying to get going in third, the leader's beginning to tire, he's treading water now, the leader, Bird on the lawn at the final fence, Bird on the lawn lands in the lead, but out, jumped by Ectiham Slave, and Ectiham Slave takes it up, and it's Ectiham Slave racing into the final furlong, and Ectiham Slave, this is going to be another one for David Robertson, David Robertson who's had a great Cheltenham, races up towards the line, he's got himself a live chance for next week as well now, Ectiham Slave wins the Leon Van Rensburg Cup, second is National Nightmare, then Inquisitors went and tank the long road, Bird on the lawn after that one, sparse corner, and all the way back to Anaheim, who was eventually overtaken by Eyes of the World, so four and a half miles round Cheltenham has sorted a few of these out, I think, and Ectiham Slave, the only grey in the field, could we see a grey take the national next week, Ectiham Slave wins it for David Robertson, and Joshua Sutherland second and third, that's not the first time we've said that this week, so I know he doesn't like seconds, but he's done a reasonably good week, and... Ectiham Slay for David Robertson, the winner. National Nightmare for Joshua Sutherland, second. Take the long road for Joshua Sutherland, was third. Inquisitors Wink for Craig Allen, fourth. And Spars Corner for James Shea was fifth. That's your Cheltenham Festival. I hope you all enjoyed it and got a winner or two. And 